can you tell a happy elephant when you see one? Notice with Mama Lay while they're switching. Her trunk is going, her head is going, her ears are going, her tail is going. If you watch her feet long enough, you see her back feet are always moving. She's so excited she can't even hold her feet still. She just loves to be here for some. I think she's just a happy elephant. She loves to be anywhere. Look at her hind feet here. How she's leaning in to do this. Her ears are going, her tail's going. They really like to do this a lot. Elephants relish dusting themselves. Here you'll see two examples of this. First, a five-year-old, then a seven-year-old blind elephant. It's Tim Tim Tim, February 22nd. Elephants are quick and extremely protective of their trunks. <laughs> to see just how strong elephants are, here is Sitte Yen, a seven-year-old elephant winning a Christmas Day tug-of-war against 15 men. <laughs> The following clips show that at least some elephants scratch themselves with a stick, which is an example of tool use. The third scratcher shown here is Shui Mia, the blind seven-year-old sweetie we saw earlier. Not shown are two other unconventional ways of scratching. First, both Moti and I saw 22-year-old Kain Mang Ji matter-of-factly scratching his belly with his erect penis. Second, Patty Rowe from the Detroit Zoo reports that upon failing to reach an itchy part of her back with a stick, Winky went over to a wall and still holding her stick, curled her trunk, pushed its curled portion against the wall, and with this added leverage reached an otherwise inaccessible part of her body. Here's a lovely example of tool use. He's using the uh, piece of stick that he broke off to scratch himself with. I guess that's important. Ah, Chan. Ah, February 22nd. When frustrated, elephants sometimes thump the ground with their trunks. Do you watch your thumb, Pamati? Watch your thump. The what? Thump, thump the ground. Do you watch your trunk thump? Oh, she's angry? No. She does that. Here, a bigger, older male, Zau, is not sure whether he wants to share his food with a smaller, younger female, Shane Shui Pi. The two do not know each other well. On other occasions, we saw some close friends willingly and companionably sharing their food. It's February 25th. On the left, we have Zau, and on the right, we have Shane Shui Pi, also known as Shui Pi. Okay. Monty's going to give them a bucket of rice. This is for you, Wanda and Winky, so you'll learn how to do it right. And we want to show how these two elephants... Uh, oh, did you see that? Mostly get along. Here we are trying to show cooperation, right? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this didn't work out as well as the two females that we had earlier. She seems intimidated. Well, no one is taking it. And now they're... God, that's so cute. Look at that. Detroit's older elephant, Winky, routinely retrieves objects by blowing on them. Similarly, according to Charles Darwin, after several failed attempts to reach a potato with her trunk, another zoo elephant retrieved a potato by blowing it against a wall. <laughs> <laughs> 